Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. The story about this car is a bit complicated. I bought it, uh, I can't really remember, but I think in 2016 or 17. Then I owned it for a while, then I sold it to a guy called Torben. Then uh, a couple of years later, I bought it back from Torben. The reason why I sold it was because I couldn't really keep up with the maintenance on the car. I did not have a lot of money at that point, and it was my only car, so um, it was a bit tough. Now it's back, and I have been trying to uh, restore it as good as I can. I'm still doing that. But one thing that happened while Torben owned it, it was nothing to do with him. It was just a madman. Uh, at one point, someone actually, uh, in the middle of the day, walked up on the roof and then down again. That resulted, of course, in a very, very dented roof and a damaged uh, bonnet. Tom is a pretty responsible guy, so he, of course, had insurance on this car. Therefore, it was fixed on the insurance. They straightened up the roof and they repainted the entire roof. When I got the car back, I noticed something. When I touched my, when I laid my hand on the roof, it sort of bounced downwards again. So at one point, I actually took the, uh, the roof liner out, and then I noticed that there is a support bar going across, and that support bar was still bent. I really don't know why the workshop that did the insurance work on this car did not fix that because they had the, the uh, they did have the hood liner or the, the roof liner off, so they must have seen that uh, strengthening bar, but for some reason they didn't fix it. I thought it was going to be an easy fix, so I just bent the, uh, the support bar upwards with a broom shaft, and then I glued it together with the, uh, with the roof skin. And then I waited a day, and then I came out to remove the broom shaft, and of course the support bar pulled the entire roof downwards again, and now I have a slight curvature in the middle. That is what I'm going to try to fix today because it's annoying. And just to show you a bit up closer. Oh, and another thing. Yeah. You all know that I had that issue with the engine that is a bit tappity or uh, making a, a, a weird noise. It is pretty much completely gone now when the engine is hot, but there's still a little bit when it's cold. One of you guys actually commented that I could just uh, <laughs> turn the volume up on my radio, but it doesn't have a radio and I'm going to do something about that because on longer trips it's nice to be able to hear some, some nice music and, and so on. So I want the antenna to be working and I bought a new antenna that I hope will, it's of course not the right kind, but I hope it won't look too stupid on it. We'll see about that. So we can do that while we're in there. But it's right there, and I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but right there, it goes slightly down. I think you can see it right there by the reflections. I really want to fix that. To do so, we need to take out the roof liner and as you can see, it's very uh, it's too dark in here, but it's very easy to see that it's been out. It's really not put back together very nice. It wasn't put together nice by the by the workshop, and uh, I didn't do a great job on it either. But I'm just going to take out all the screws going around, holding it in place, and then take it back. So. Now I have taken everything off and we should be able to take the liner out. Oh, what is this? Wow. See that garage sticker? Hmm. If you are a Patreon of the channel, then I will send you a couple of these for free. But back to the car. I think everything, I think everything is out now and we should be able to pull it out. Oh, there's still some of those plastic. <laughs> there it 
came. Very, very controlled disassembly. But it came out like this. And right in there is the support bar. And let me show you with some light. As you can see, I glued it very, very crude to the roof. And that was not a good idea because even though I bent it backwards and upwards, I couldn't bend it back to shape because that would mean that I would have to bend it higher than the roof skin. And I didn't really think about that. So when I removed the broom that pushed it all together, it pulled the assembly downwards instead of up like it's supposed to. What I'm going to try to do today is to, one thing is to get that glue to release and uh, that could be a big problem. Um, but if that succeeds, then I'm going to cut it off right here and, and right here and then take it out of the car and bend it back to shape. Then hopefully we can make it work. The first thing is to try to get that glue to, to uh, let go. And I can't just pry away because, because that would uh, just bend the roof. So I need to kind of cut it. <clears throat> well, maybe a knife would be better, but <laughs> it is working. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this. Maybe get a knife and then get it all off. So now I got all the glue to release the uh, roof liner. And now I'm going to cut that spot where I already started. Um, I'm taking huge care not to blow too much, uh, not to blow uh, sparks on the window. I should maybe cover it up, but I think some of you know how I work. <laughs> Luckily, it's my own cast. So um, I'm going to cut it off slightly, uh, slowly, and then we should be able to remove it. This is the world's worst angle grinder. It's small, that's nice, but you could almost catch it with your hand and stop it. So, it's not very good. Ah, I need to cover that window off. It is just the world's most tiniest spot weld that I need to cut out, so it shouldn't take too long. There we go, it's off at one side. And then I just need to do the same on the other side and take it all out, bend it into shape, clean it up, put something in between to avoid it rattling, and then weld it back on. So now I got the strengthening beam, or whatever you want to call it, out of the car. And as you can see, it goes up and then a bit down and then a bit up. What I need to do is to bend this piece up so it follows the curvature of the roof, of course, and is the highest point. That way it won't, uh, that way it will not pull it down. Someone might be able to do this with the part on the car, but I couldn't find a good way because this needs to be bent higher to get the right shape. That meant would mean that I would have to push the roof out. Maybe I could have bent the entire assembly down, then this up. Anyway, I'm, I'm doing it this way. I think that's the best, going to be the best way. So now I'm just going to try to bend it until we get a shape that looks like the roof. That was a bit too much, I think. I'm going to go and test it now. This is about it. 
So now it's time to attempt to weld it back in. Actually, I'm not going to do anything about the foam in between because the old foam is actually very soft still. So I don't think that will give me any trouble. Something tells me that the ground is not really working. It's because I put it on something with a nylon bushing in between, so that won't work. <laughs> Stop it all! And then let's try it out one more time. Into there. So now. The support beam is welded back in. Not with the most beautiful welds in the world, but this is not something that will be shown. And it is now pushing all the way and not pulling the, the liner downwards, so that's good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna change this antenna and then put the roof liner back in. Of course, I will also just paint the, uh, the weld so it doesn't just start rusting. So Now the roof liner is back in the car. And the roof is no longer dipping downwards. It was a very small and minor thing, but it was really annoying me. So I'm happy that I got it fixed. I also installed a uh, antenna, a new antenna. It is not period correct for the car, and I'm uh, a bit scared that I could be assaulted by an Italian nationalist, but hopefully it will work and I can get a radio playing in this car. That would be nice. Anyway, thank you for watching. I think I'm going to rig some cameras up on this car and take it for a ride. And then I will release a uh, video, just a drive video. No talking, no nothing, just driving and engine sounds. That will come another day. Either way, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.